Let me see that. Says here it has an extremely powerful internal electronic energy source and numerous microprocessors. There's only one organization that could have created something like this. The U.S. military. Uh, about a year ago, I borrowed a few chips from them to make my soldiers the most realistic toys on the market. Borrowed? Sounds more like you stole them. Okay, I stole them, but I swear I didn't realize how powerful the chips were. I didn't know they would make the toys act this way. It's like they have minds of their own now. Criminal minds. So you mean this time the toys are the ones that broke into the base? Yeah, they're totally out of control. Wow, I guess that explains the helmet we found and the tiny hole. And now they're using the chips to create an army out of other toys. Why would they do that? I'm not sure. Frankly, I'm kind of afraid to find out. <gasps> really? <laughs> How did you find me? Believe me, it wasn't easy. Well, what do you want? I thought you might want a sweater in case you got cold. It's supposed to get pretty chilly tonight. Uh, Randy, could you do me a mega big favor? Your wish is my command, darling. Could you get lost? Because I'm like totally in the middle of something. Huh? No problem. I'll see you later. Okay. Randy just went from being the best to being a pest. And now on to more pressing matters like stopping those toys. But we don't know where they are. They may go back to my toy factory. It's kind of their home base. Then we should make sure we're there waiting for them. Let's hit it. So why are we sneaking into Seth's place again? We don't want to take any chances. Yeah, I've had enough ambushes for one day. Come on, we can go in through here. can't see anything. Do a quick scan for us, Alex. I think I see something right below us. Let's take him out. <gasps> That'll teach you to... Hey, how come they're not fighting back? These must be last season's models, the ones without the chips. Then I guess we got our bungees in a twist over nothing. What the? Ah! Take no prisoners! Okay, this is officially surreal, not to mention embarrassing. That's enough of out of you, Missy. Pipe down, fall in line, suck in that gut! Okay, Mr. Toy, sir. Excellent plan to lead the enemy right into our trap, Commander. But there was no plan, I was... The platoon is ready to carry out the final mission. An assault on the United Countries building. You can't do that! People are gonna get hurt! As your Commander, I order you to lay down your arms! Huh? Traitor! Seize this prisoner of war! <sighs> <sighs> You're relieved of your commanding duty. We'll take over the world without you. I was afraid he was going to say something like that. For only being alive for a couple of days, that sergeant really has this bad guy thing down. This is all my fault. I never intended for the toys to be so dangerous. Uh, speaking of dangerous, you think those mini landmines are real? <laughs> Answer your question? Don't worry. I got us into this mess. I'll get us out. Maybe we could swing over to that table? It's worth a shot. Follow my footsteps precisely. <gasps> that 
didn't sound good. Okay, when I say go, everyone run. Go! <laughs> Toy Factory is anything but fun! Hmm? Girls, the United Countries building has come under siege in the middle of an important peace summit. You must rush there immediately. The fate of the summit depends on you. We're on it. And by the way, we need you to pick someone up. Consider it done. I've got your location. Mm, sorry, Seth, but technically, you are a criminal. Come on, girls! Huh? <laughs> Looks like they already took over the building. We're gonna have to find a different way in. <sighs> when I said different way, I didn't mean the sewer. You better not be expecting me to crawl up through a toilet. Huh. <gasps> it looks like they're rounding up the Peace Summit delegates. We've got to get those people out of there. What's that little creep doing now? He must be using the UC building as a war room to plot the overthrow of the world. I used to think the idea of a world run by toys sounded cute, but now I think it's just creepy. We have to take this army out of commission. It's now or never. Hmm. Clover, you come with me. Alex, when we distract the toys, go free the delegates. should help put a damper on that little warmonger's plans. Ah! All the lousy times to break your nails! Oh. Intruders! Get them! Oh no! Look out! Here comes the heavy artillery! <laughs> Don't worry! I'll get you out of here in no time! Nicely done, ladies. The world is once again safe from renegade toys. Uh -huh. Somehow that doesn't sound as impressive as it actually is. Huh? Hmm? Do we really have to send Seth to jail? He did steal classified military technology. Hmm. But seeing as he saved your lives back there, I'm going to recommend an intense regimen of community service. Hmm. <laughs> Waxing your car, my lovely. I have a little time left over after I did your homework mm. and baked you these fat-free macaroons. Um, Randy, I think we need to talk. <gasps> Is it the cookies? Are you allergic to coconut? No, it's not the cookies. It's our relationship. I just don't think I can date a guy who caters to my every whim. You can't? 
I know, it sounds totally crazy, but I need to be with someone I can have a real relationship with, not a boy toy. So, you're dumping me? Yeah, but we can still be friends, right? Hmm. Okay, well, I guess I better go. I need to find another date for the Teen Sickle concert tonight. Huh? Teen Sickle concert? I scored front row tickets. Anyway, I'll see you around. Randy?